Hey guys, and welcome back to more Fallout 3. So, we just got done exploring the rest of the minefield area. Um, completed that, so before we talk to more, since it is nighttime, a couple things that we can do. Actually, one thing I'll do right now fix these pipes. Pipe number one, pipe number two is up there, and then pipe number three is over this way. And every eye shall be blind Jericho, is his glory. What do you want to talk about? Every ear shall be stricken so. deaf to hear yeah, the number three is over here. Let's just fix these up. That's a fix. The last one's up here. But I think you have to jump onto it. Oh, I need to get a better angle of it. And the resplendence of there it is. Yeah, I need to be on this building. Gone away. The cool little trick that you can do, I think it's an achievement, not too sure. You crouch, hit A on the scout, push it over. I think that's an achievement, I'm not too sure. Water processing plant. Could be a guy in here. Uh, him. Dave. Well, goddamn. You're new, right? Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. So this guy has a bit of a kind of problem. Damn it! Who told you? I, I mean, I have no idea what you're talking about. Dark, dark, dark. But this guy's just trying to hide it. Um, uh, there is a way to help him out. Help? What's to help? So I'm a junkie. Big fucking deal. It's not like I'm hurting anyone. So, uh, fifty-three percent speech check. I, Here we go. I guess you're right. I have to tell them about my problem, don't I? That would be definitely a good idea. I could tell them for you. Uh, I'm not saying... I just don't know what to say. I've been stealing from both of them for years to get my fix. Where do I even start? Well, I'll figure something out. Look, I want to thank you for your help. I guess it took a complete stranger to show me what an ass I've been. Take this key. It's to my private stash in the water treatment plant. Just get rid of the stuff. Burn it, sell it. I don't care what happens to it. All right, so we got good karma for that. Thanks. It'll be hard, but I'll do my best. But yeah, we got... Yeah. See you soon. So we got double the karma out of that. So I think um, the stash is in one of these lockers. Oh, um, is that okay? Yeah, so seventy one. Quick. Fuck the detergent. All right, so that was important to do. Oh crap. Right, 
so let's sleep for a couple hours. That guy's not there. Sleep for eight hours, nine hours. All the way, take a drink. Alright. Out of the way, dog man. So let's store some of this newfound stuff that we got. Need a scrap pedal. Our books that I put in here. Nope. Put any scrap metal in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's head back up to the the uh, water plant first. Read that book. Ah. Uh -huh. Morning. You too. Yeah, what is it? Well, I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. But listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out there in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap... I can keep the plant running, and the pipe should be just fine. We got a deal? So, this is another easy way of earning income in the game. Hello, Aaron boy. Just pay me for the repairs. Sounds good to me. Good. This just okay. keeps looking better. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. Um, huh? So, yeah. we actually got five. And we're interested in buying some caps. Or some scrap. Um... So we can earn karma for just saying that, I think, so... Well, all right. We Let me count out your caps. And we also gain XP. Well, back to work. Yeah. So there's another way of leveling up. Or earning easy XP. Now let's head to crater side. are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. And hot because they, um, explode. Anyway, what's up? I think you got your words mixed up. <laughs> My very own landmine! Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? 
kind of sucked. <laughs> uh, watch the details and look for broken patterns. That's where the traps are. That's so true. For all of life, really. But especially the parts involving landmines. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously, you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course, but it's easy to make your own, too. Four frag grenades and got a schematic to make bottle, um, bottle cap lines. Correct. And it's looking very smart. Very smart indeed. They'll be dazzled by our intelligence. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. So, the chapter one is complete. Thank goodness. But now let's start on chapter two. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there. For better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? So let's do the injury one, because I have a couple grenades that I can just mess myself up on. Uh, yeah. Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away, or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here, so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? I guess I'll get hurt eventually. I might as well just come here when I do. Wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two, and I'll take notes and fix you up. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. I have to go now. The info you're bringing back is great. Looking forward to more. Okay, so we gotta like severely damage ourselves. Anything around here? Bunch of sugar bombs. Why? All right. So an easy way to do this is with frag grenades. And we're gonna head outside and do that. Just because I don't wanna take a chance of somebody walking by and getting hit with a grenade. Let me get those, get that set up. And at least the load time's not too bare, um, too painful. Do it over here in this whole area over here. Okay, so uh, got a damage or crippled limbs. That's how we walk when we're crippled. Pretty funny.
All right. Well, how do you feel? <laughs> it really hurts, you know. Yeah, pretty messed up for ourselves. Oh, I know it does, dear, but it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. So, yeah, because of the one perk that we could pick, the Lady Killer, we are actually getting an extra dialogue here, I think. So, that. That's a very enlightened attitude you've got. Shame it doesn't stop bullets, huh? Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Ugh. How can you be walking around like this? You told me to. Okay. I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. Swell. Okay, ready to research some more. There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I need it to be tested on a few mole rats before I can say it's a success. There's a lot we don't know about Mirelurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? Do the, uh, the mole rats. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. All right. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on 10 or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. All right, cool. So let's sell some stuff. Sure. We actually have a soul puncher. Actually, I think I might have enough for my first infirmary. No, my first laboratory. No. Old machine would be nice. It wouldn't work, man. Rocket launcher. Alright, she doesn't really have a whole lot that I want. Good hunting. See ya. I got my eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he wants us to go all the way over here, and we're not gonna do that quite yet. That's kind of out of the way. Let's. Do this. 
then I think I'll start doing like both. I'll want to hit up another area. Oops. So I gotta go all the way up here. Oh yeah, I can't fast travel while I'm inside. No oh, whoopsies. Head over to Spring Springvale. Check this mailbox. Yes, I did. This way. No. Over here. Okay. You know, I should have went into this house earlier when I walked past it. I didn't think nothing of it. Huh. Small house. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? Hi, right, baby. That bastard. He's a he's a liar. He just wants me dead. Those caps are all mine. I earned them. Oh, uh, look, just give me the caps. Uh, slow down. Tell me your side of the story. I'm tired of hiding out here like some kind of wasteland dog. I... I guess you're right. Here. This is all I have. Please leave me alone now. This is Enclave Radio oh, sweet. with your host, me, President John Henry Eaton. Hello again, America uh, the Magnificent. Can't take anything her. I don't even want to attempt it. Back to Megaton. Talk to Moriarty and get our information on where our old man is. Clinic. Moriarty Saloon. Obviously, you're not fed. Out of the way, stupid. Even oh, there you are. What's it to be? A few cap. Well, the wasteland can be. I did your stupid fair. I took care of Silver for you. Good. I hope she got what she deserved. Alright, uh. You took care of our little lost lamb, eh? I knew I could count on you. How about you just hand over a hundred caps and we'll call it even? Heck yeah. Well, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Your dad came through here all right. Didn't stay long, though. Said he had some important business to attend to and headed off to the city. Something to do with Galaxy News Radio. Guess that'd be the place for you to start. Good hunting, and thanks for the caps. Okay. Don't Hello. let me keep you. Into that. Now we got a new area that we can go to. So the tepid sewers are right there, and... If there's GNR. I don't want to head that way quite yet. There's R troops, so I'm going to start heading towards there. Oh. 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 
head over to Volt 101 real quick. Actually, no, I don't want to head over that way. So, yeah, head over to Volt 101. This way. Head towards Arafu. That way I can get a couple items from there. Kitchen spot over here. That's what we have. Dog meat. over this way. Oh, float fly. Okay. I didn't keep going on him. Looks gusty. trailer over here. That's cool. What's in it? Bed that I can sleep in. Point. Point. Ah, I need 50. Oh, Jesus. Tasty food on what's going on around here. Our cigarettes shot. There we go. I think I'll use this for a while. The locations up here.
position and yeah, so that just That just pretty much just tells us that that position and that we're not gonna be able to maximize our damage with this weapon. That's fine. When a weapon breaks, you can repair it later with other weapons or have someone repair it for you. That cost caps. Any locations over here? What's going on? What the? They're shooting. Why are they shooting? Bolt 106. First of all, I want to find out who shot it. That ain't happening. Right, I'm gonna save because of that death wall. Okay, so I'm actually gonna stop it here for right now. Uh, when we get back, I believe I will go ahead and tackle Bolt 106 and see what's going on in here, and then we'll head over to our food. So, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.